Hi, this is Carlos Cousins. The following question is asking us to identify which of the following graphs presented in the answer choices represents the graph of the equation x equals y minus 2, but the absolute value of y minus 2. Um, and it turns out that uh, what you have to realize here is that this is going to look just like any absolute value graph. Uh, when you have something that looks like this, and you should remember what this looks like, y equals the absolute value of x, um, your graph tends to look like, or will always look like this. Um, but what's happening here is instead of having the y um, being the function and the x the input of the function, you have it backwards. You have something that looks like this. x equals the absolute value of y minus 2. So what you'll have instead is instead of having the y-axis here and the x-axis here, you'll have it switched so that now the x-axis would be here and the y-axis would be here. Um, but because we have each of these axes labeled as they usually are, what you're going to have to do is continue writing y and x here, but make sure that you treat the x as the y-axis and the y as the x-axis because they're flipped. So that your answer choice will have to look something like this. So every answer choice that doesn't have an absolute value that looks like that toward um, the, the right would be incorrect. So answer choice A here and answer choice C here are totally incorrect. Um, so we're left with B, D, and E. Now for the remainder answer choices, you have points labeled here. Uh, you have 1, 3 for when um, x is 1 and y is 3 and here you sorry you have 1 1 here my bad and down here you have 1 3 so what we can do now is simply compare what happens when you plug in x into the answer choice which of the two do you get so um, another example would be here you have 0 0 or 0 3 but let's go ahead and plug in 1 so if you plug in 1 you'd get 1 equals blank minus 2 so let's just solve for y 1 equals y minus 2 well, you'd have to add 2 to the other side of the equation so that you get y equals 3, right? So um, when you plug in 1, your y value ends up equaling 3. If you plugged in 0 for x, your y value ends up equaling 2. So it turns out that uh, for every single number that you plug in, this is the answer choice that you end up with. So the correct answer choice here is d. I hope that that helped with this problem. Happy prepping.